Secret Cost of the White House There is no more impressive and expensive building in the United States than the White House. The United States is one of the most powerful nations and superpowers of the world, and the White House is the center for all political activities. White House is also an office and official residence for the President for the last 200 years. Since the time it was constructed, the building has been renovated, had extensions built, and even been burnt down. So today, it's full of many hidden features. It has top-line security systems, secret bunkers, and many other features that make it an expensive building. This official residence is located at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. The value of this building stems from its reputation and opulence, its state-of-the-art features, and its large area. The 55,000-square-foot White House spans 18 acres of land. The house boasts a whopping 132 multi-purpose rooms, three kitchens able to serve steaming hot meals to almost 140 people at a time. Scattered throughout the house are 412 doors and 147 windows. There are 35 luxury bathrooms distributed around the giant house. There are 16 bedrooms, all of which have top-of-the-line communication equipment. The president's bedroom is found on the southwest corner of the second floor and has an adjacent sitting and dressing room. From bottom to top, the building spans six stories. A big house has one or two fireplaces, but being the true symbol of elitism, the White House has 28 fireplaces, three private elevators, and eight staircases. What do you think would be the price of this iconic structure? Any guesses? To know all the details of this massive building, watch the video till the end and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. White House bears a staggering price tag of $400 million. Former President George Washington selected the site for this building in 1791 and the cornerstone was laid in 1792. The place was designed by the genius Irish-born architect James Hoban. It took eight years to complete the building, and after that, President John Adams and his wife moved into the house in 1800, even before the house was complete. During the War of 1812, the British set the president's house on fire and was rebuilt by the same architect. The house was not always known as the White House. It was originally known by the title Presidential Palace, or the executive mansion. The name White House came into official use when in 1901, Theodore Roosevelt had the words placed on the official stationery of the mansion. At that time, its initial cost was $232,300. This would be more than $3 million today. The White House is a peaceful place for the president to make important decisions for the country. If anyone wants to attack the White House, which feature do you think will give him visual access inside it? The windows, of course. As you have seen in some pictures, the president's office has a window-lined back wall, which helps others to see through it. For this reason, the White House windows are backed up with another layer of ballistic glass behind the normal windows. According to Jim Richards, the vice president of Total Security Solutions, the ballistic glass is level 8 glass-clad polycarbonate. A square foot of ballistic glass cost almost $100. On November 11, 2011, the windows were put to test. A man allegedly fired two shots from a high-powered rifle towards the south face of the White House. From more than 2,100 feet away, the layer of ballistic glass stopped the bullet. If any drone flies from outside, it will be sensed by the infrared sensors that are installed on the White House lawn. There are numerous alarms on the lawn too. If any of those alarms get triggered, then be ready to be grabbed by the SWAT team, the guard dog, or the secret service at the entrance. Before you even know it, someone will have taken down the intruder and neutralized the threat in no time. There are almost 1,200 secret service agents that roam around every time. These 1,200 are the people in uniform. The Secret Service has 2,800 more agents which operate in plain clothes in the area. All of these agents are hidden from the public eye and come into action when the need arises. The White House is declared a no-fly zone. If a plane doesn't follow the strict landing instructions, then the pilot is given a warning. 
If he doesn't follow it, then that can be fatal. This is because the countless surface-to-air missiles are located around the capital, ready to pinpoint any potential threat and take it down before it gets into the premise of the White House. The fence of the building was constructed in 1801, and it has gone through an important transformation. In the early days, it just served as a barrier, but now the 11-foot fence is topped with sharp spikes and boasts an inbuilt pressure feature that alerts the security agents the moment someone dares to climb it. If someone tries to jump the fence, then the White House Security Office for potential danger immediately gets alert. If you somehow successfully cross the fence, then you have to face many other security challenges. One of those is the Belgian Malinois dogs that roam around. These have been employed since 1975. The dogs are a perfect mix of gentle and brutal, but don't ever try to mess with them. They can be vicious. Reaching a speed of 30 miles per hour, they have a 270 degree wide vision and take off like bullets. Each of these dogs costs $6,500 to $8,500, and they must complete 20 weeks of training before offering their duty. Beneath the eye-catching North Lawn, there is an alleged doomsday bunker. According to Washington Post reporter Ronald Kessler, the bunker is large enough to fit the White House workforce indefinitely and spans almost five underground stories. It was rumored to have been constructed secretly in 2010, the White House has also another Presidential Emergency Operations Center bunker found under the East Wing. And this is the place where former Vice President Dick Cheney and his staff members took refuge during the 9-11 attack. The President also needs to relax from his daily hectic routine, so the White House has several fun rooms for the President and his family to enjoy. The basement of the White House is a giant shopping center with numerous varieties of goods in it. A flower shop with a wide variety of expensive and rare flowers is there. The flowers are purchased in bulk and then used at state dinners or decoration around the White House. Flowers of $252,000 are purchased every year for the mansion. There is a bowling room, a gym having state-of-the-art equipment, a music room, multiple pools, a spa, and a home cinema having 42 seats and is located in the East Wing. The game room on the third floor consists of a snooker table and an $80,000 golf simulator. There are many rooms in the White House, but some of them are wonderful. The Queen's bedroom features a four-poster bed and is part of a suite of rooms that includes the Queen's sitting room and the Queen's bath. A federal tile was used to decorate the room and the bed is believed to have once belonged to President Andrew Jackson. There is Lincoln's bedroom on the second floor, which was once used by President Abraham Lincoln as his office. Close foreign allies of the president typically stay here and the room features unique decor such as holograph of the Gettysburg Address on the room's desk. The Oval Office is the most famous room in the White House. It serves as the president's working space. The president's desk in the office is made from the English oak timbers from the British Arctic Exploration Ship. This was gifted to President Rutherford B. Hayes by Queen Victoria in 1880. The Situation Room in the building is the Intelligence Center of the White House, where the President deals with crises at home and abroad while communicating with the National Security Advisor, White House Chief Staff, and Homeland Security Advisor. This room is soundproof and has six flat TV screens for secure video conferences. When a house has such a high-class security system and all of the world's luxuries, then the price tag of $400 million is justified. That's all for today's video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for recent updates. Thanks for watching.